welcome to yet another edition with the consult team my name is chacha wabara and i'm so excited to have you here if this is your first time here we talk about movies we do movie reviews we give opinions on various types of movies korean chinese thai nigerian you know as you know all kinds of movies so if you're a movie lover please sit back and um stay with us and if you haven't subscribed please hit on the subscribe button turn up your post notifications so that you'll be alerted when a new post comes up i'm so excited to be here with you today it's such a wonderful time you know being here with you okay so how has your week been i hope you've been great um, today we'll be doing a review on a chinese drama on you are my destiny staring chen jexin wang jingzin uh, and Dil Lang, okay, it, it kind of like a normal, probable meal and boom, or I don't know, temptation kind of all those temptation move, books that we used to read, you know, or meal and boom, and you know, metamorphosed into something else. I was actually thinking it would be one of the like okay sleep wake up are they still there okay fine all right okay let me just burn let me just spend my time watching you know releasing my detention in my head or something but you know it it, it, it moved from your normal meals and boom plot to something to something high strong emotionally high strong like oh, you know it was it was that it was that packed emotion packed filled at some point i cried <sighs> i cried okay so let me not let me not get ahead of myself now this this drama is love finding love understanding love finding oneself nothing else okay that's what i think jang zin her character started as someone who, you know, very naive, mousy, you know, she didn't know anything. She was so naive, innocent to the world. And more or less, everyone took advantage of her. She was that naive or she was that unassuming. You know, those cruise ships that people, you know, just go on, go in, stay. The, the, the vacation is just on water, okay? So, um... As usual she got there but yeah you know, kind of like an opportunity came up and she just left him a letter like you know what I have to go left him a note so he, he was just coming with the diamond ring everything laid out only for him to see that she and I had you know gotten off the the, the the cruise ship and I traveled to I can't remember where she traveled to but she just traveled and she was apologizing and then he's saying how would what am i supposed to do on this cruise ship now what, what you should have told me there's no way what am i doing here and she says i won't do it again he says please promise me you will never ever leave me hanging like this again i was just watching at that time for me it was just normal like normal normal on the other hand jenzin was jenzin was also on the cruise um sheep okay she came with this boyfriend who didn't care about her and as a matter of fact wasn't even footing the bills for the vacation came was having something to do with someone else on the ship so somehow yan zin discovered through zing ying that um this who this silly guy that she had as a boyfriend was cheating on her so she walked out she had never raised her voice on anyone she couldn't even talk to the guy she couldn't even confront the guy as a matter of fact the guy told her that the, that the girl she saw with her eyes on the bed with the guy with this boyfriend of hers just came because her body was wet and he was trying to help her something that she saw it was <laughs> so <clears throat> zing yin just you know made her see that you know what this guy is just playing games with you blah 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 and then she packs her box doesn't have anywhere to go to and leaves okay so during that cruise um Zinyi, you know had a complete makeover for Jianzin in the sense that he dressed her up and all that everything that he was supposed to do 
for Shiana, he did for Gen Z. Not like, not because he want, not because, not out of like he ha he had any feelings for her. No, it was just trying to help out someone who was recently heartbroken or something. So the evening he had not cancelled, he had not cancelled the proposal um, party that he was supposed to have with. Shiana. So when he walked into the ballroom, everybody started clapping for them. That was when he now remembered that, oh my goodness, I didn't cancel it. They brought the ring and everything. He was not meant to propose to Jiang Xin. Okay? And they had to sign the dotted lines. In fact, they signed the dotted lines. So, legally they were married. Do you understand? They were legally married. Without, you know, no plan, nothing. So the plan was that okay you know what we're going to div we're going to get divorced as soon as we you know uh, are light from the cruise ship when they got there they were like you know what they were not told that see you can't divorce just yet you have to go back because it wasn't in china you have to go back to bahamas to the bahamas to <laughs> to you know um get divorced Along the line, his grandma knew so many things happened. Jianzin found out that she was pregnant. So, In between trying to, you know, abort the baby and all of that, Zingyin Zing now said he wanted the baby. But you know what? They signed an agreement, a secret agreement that, see, after this, I don't want you in my life. I'm still in love with my girlfriend, Shiana. Shiana went, you know, went to work. As soon as she comes back, I'm going to marry her. So you give birth to this baby and you can go. We'll take the baby from you. We'll take care of the baby. So what would I call Janzin? Janzin was like, you know, living on borrowed time, being a borrowed wife. Let me tell you something. Eh? I, I, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. When a man and a woman, you know, stay in unusual proximity, I'm not saying all, oh, but you know, unusual, when I mean by unusual, when I mean by unusual proximity, I mean a, you stay in a man's house and the man stays with you in the house. Feelings are bound to develop. So that was what happened between Jiang Xin and Xin Yin. Okay? Apart from staying together and, you know, expecting a baby to together, they moved to actually really developing feelings for each other. And then in comes Daylan. Daylan is a very handsome guy, rich guy, carefree, but caring as well. You know, who took an interest in that, you know, very, very naive <laughs> girl, you know, so potential in her, and still liking her, which, you know, Zinying did like. So the plot of the movie, you know, kept on developing. Everybody started showing, you know, portraying their characters and everything was progressing fine those who were loving were loving those who were you know you know trying to let you find Gen Z trying to find herself you know the, the the stigma of being called someone who snatched someone's fiance from her the stigma of you know coming from nothing being in a world of wealth the stigma of you know you know everyone had a master's the lawyer like our best friend is um you know having something um you know as against her that didn't really have anything tangible didn't really have any hold on anything you know that feeling that inferiority complex too was really strong there you know that second guessing of herself finding out if she was enough and you know, Shiana was one sophisticated ballet dancer. Like when she walks into the room, everyone is turning their head. So how you how do you get to compete with that kind of competition? And then she, you know, Zing Yin had kind of like a full picture of um, of Shiana in their bedroom. You know, so it was hard to compete against. And she, she you know, Zingyi kept on telling her, you see, you, you have no place here. I love this girl. I love Shiana. You know, that kind of thing. So, she, yeah. the only reality she had was the baby in her womb. Like, she just was just, was just. But anyway, Ying fell in love with Jiang Zin, but did not, you know, 
could not express it because there were so many things there so many cobwebs how it, they had um a, a, they had an agreement they had a contract agreement of how they were going to get divorced when the baby was born they had so many things in place so how is he going to turn around to say okay it's over and besides too i just felt like you know there was a lot of misunderstanding of which the director the producer they were really really good at doing they you know this understand this misunderstandings were put in various places to untangle them you just know that you know what this one has not ended we need to clear this one and clear that one and clear the other one before this one comes in at some point i i was when it was becoming a bit you know everything was becoming too easy oh they are getting married or oh they're getting together they're getting to really understand themselves bam something just happens okay so this part the the the, the there's this part where um uh, and i got a fake contract agreement you know and sent it through korea and made sure that she was there at that same point when you know jazin was was supposed to receive it so she reads it and sees that and you know reads it that um Zinyin did not have want to have anything to do with her would take her baby would do this would do that she should move away you know so she just you know she just let her emotions get the best of her and then when Jin Zing came he didn't see Jin Zing there who he saw was Shiana Shiana was like what of me what about me he just pushed her now fast forward to when he caught up with Jin Zing and they started arguing and Jiang Zin still could not get a hold of herself just entered the road and got hit by a car you know that you would know that the reason why Jiang Zin and Zin Yi were together in the first place was because of the baby so at that point Zin Yi that was the highlight of the movie for me <laughs> hey god you know that was the highlight of the movie for me because at that point Zing Yi portrayed you know the disbelief of someone you know faced with this huge unbelievable tragedy that he could not you know fathom so that when he even saw Jian Zin, you know normally when someone is hit by a car you hey, hey help 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 he couldn't move so by the time he went there because i always marvel at people that like I carried her, I carried her. You know, sometimes grief can make you, <laughs> your emotions can get the best of you, you won't be able to function. You know, that, that was what uh, Xing Ying was trying to, you know, that was what he portrayed. He carried her, he couldn't carry her. He carried her, he couldn't carry her, he was screaming in the rain, he carried her again, he couldn't, he just, help me, he just kept to the, oh God, I cried. You know, he portrayed it. You know this kind of emotion that when the actor is acting, acting it, uh, you're there with the actor. You, 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 you can feel the emotion. You, 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 you can hold the emotion. If that movie doesn't win best movie of the year, I'll be shocked. You know, it was, it was, it was, it was too good. It was really, really good. They were really, really good. You know and so the movie kept on progressing a lot of emotions you know a couple trying to understand why they broke up you know the misunderstanding the back and forth the emotions the hurt the tears the anger you did this you said this but you did this you did not say this and all that so that it was i was i was i didn't want to miss even a single part in the drama till the end i even asked myself and i was like is it no is it no season is it no season five you know it was that interesting i didn't even want it to end i'll be rating this movie 10 over 10 because it appealed to my romantic nature like you know i like seeing men portray that emotion you know <laughs> It was the one that portrayed it you know at that point that was the killer for me that was it that that thing that way he 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 showed that emotion when jansen was you know hit by a car when she was in the hospital and he had to say you know what take out the baby so that she can leave when he was when he was you know 
you know, everyone was just concentrating on Jianzi, and Jianzi was just concentrating on herself. I'm the mother, I'm the mother, I'm hot, I'm hot, I'm hot. You know, nobody remembered Zinying. Nobody remembered that Zinying might have been feeling bad. You know, that playboy who has everything. You know, so when, 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 when they started showing him hurting, crying, saying day one, day two, day three, this one happened, day three, that one happened, day four, that one happened, day 35, I was able to do this, this thing happened. Oh God, it was, it was, it was, for me it was zinging, zinging, zinging was just it. You understand? So that is the reason I will be giving this movie a 10 over 10. Zinyi made that made you and my destiny a success, and it was wonderful. The director got, you know, the director got 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 everything out of Zinyi. You know, he uprooted Zinyi. You know, and hey <laughs> God, Zinyi was awesome. I would advise you to watch the movie You Are My Destiny. Okay, so. If this is your first time joining me, please subscribe now. Why are you doing like this? Okay? Share your comments down below. Like this movie. Hit the subscribe button. Turn up your post notifications so that you'll be alerted when a new video is up. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.